Over the past three months, this lens right here has had a major impact on my photography, and that's a 28 millimeter. So in today's video, I wanna show you a bunch of example photos that I've shot at 28 millimeter during my time in South Korea, back home in Australia, some portrait examples that I shot while I was in Bali, and of course some images that I've shot during my time here in Europe. Now there's always been this big debate between 24 and 35 millimeter, and what is the best wide angle focal length. But I've recently found that 28 millimeter is the best wide angle focal length, and in today's video, I wanna tell you why. About this before on the channel that when I started photography I did what I'm assuming most people do and that's to build out an arsenal of lenses to cover all of the possible focal lengths that I might need for client jobs, for travel and of course portrait photography. And this didn't improve my photography, it just resulted in a back and neck injury from my extremely heavy camera bag. Also with this wide range of focal lengths, something really did frustrate me about my images. I found I was using and relying on wider angle lenses like the 24mm to add that visual interest with perspective distortion in my images, or I was using longer focal lengths like the 85 or the 70 to 200 to add that compression into my photos. Because previously I thought what made an interesting image is having an interesting perspective from using these extreme focal lengths. Where over the last year or so, I've now realized that using focal lengths of the more neutral field of view means they have to focus on an interesting image or scene rather than just using a dramatic perspective. Now I still use and will continue to use wider focal lengths than 28 millimeter, but now with a purpose or intention, as they will always have their place, which is something that I want to expand on a little bit later in the video. So why the 28mm? It's actually impressive how versatile the 28mm focal length is. I've used it for portraits, for landscapes, street photography, with little to no consideration on changing lenses. And I haven't been in a situation over the past three months wishing that I had a wider focal length like a 24mm or a 16 to 35 And I've definitely not felt that the 28mm is too tight like the 35 millimeter can be. And if you think about this, what is the focal length between the popular and versatile 35 and 24 millimeter? Well, of course it is the 28 millimeter. So if you do enjoy using both the 24 or the 35 millimeter, Consider that 28 millimeter is the best of both worlds when you want to embrace more elements when trying to fill the frame. You'll have that wider but not distorted field of view like the 24 millimeter, and you'll get that similar compression and versatility like the 35 millimeter. And that's where I fit in, as I've always found that 24 millimeter is just a little bit too wide, distorted, and just hard to get right. While the 35mm was always just a little bit too tight for a wide angle lens, and it also seems too similar to a 50mm. And where I think the 28mm really does shine is when you pair it with a longer focal length like a 50mm. You can get a wider perspective of a scene with the 28mm to add that visual interest from that small amount of distortion. And then the 50mm for tighter, more detailed shots with true to life compression 
and little to no distortion. I personally enjoy this combination for my portrait work as I enjoy working at close distances with models. So getting a wide with a small amount of distortion to establish the environment with that 28 millimeter and then getting tighter shots with the 50 millimeter to get more background separation having pleasant and natural distortion but not at a working distance that's just too far away from the model and that's probably why I don't really like the 85 or use the 85 millimeter that often as they're just so far away and it's less intimate and harder to communicate with the model. Hi guys, welcome to the Malfi Coast here in Italy and to test this theory that I think 28 and 50 millimeter is the best travel combination, I'm just going to go out and shoot on one lens. Now I'm traveling pretty light here in Italy so I'm just going to use the 18 to 55 millimeter from Fuji which is a kit lens but I'm only going to use the full frame field of view of 28 and 50 millimeter and this is going to be a great test because I can shoot at 35 and I can shoot at 85. So it's going to be interesting to seeing how tempted I am to use the 35 and 85 because I have it. I don't have that creative limitation like I do on prime lenses. It's also extremely early so I'm a little bit tired. I'm not used to waking up. I've been here for a few weeks and I've got to get moving because I might miss my bus. So we'll see you there. I'm really hoping I do not miss my bus. Ah, these stairs are killing me. Another great concept is that the 28mm prime lens is available as a compact lens from different camera and third party manufacturers, especially with that aperture of f2 or f2.8. I bought and have been using this Fujifilm 18mm f1.4 lens on my X-T5, which is actually a 28mm after that APS-C crop factor. While I was in Korea, I used the f2 pancake version that did actually work better than I expected, but it didn't actually blow my socks off, so it's not an amazing lens. And Mitch, I'd like to thank you for lending me this lens while we were in Korea. And finally, my favorite lens for the X-T5 is actually the 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens. And since I've been traveling super light during my time here in Europe, carrying this lens around for some lifestyle street and even portraiture work just really does make sense. Now I know this is a zoom lens and in today's video is all about prime lenses. Well, I've actually been treating this lens like a prime by strictly sticking to the 28 millimeter or the widest end of this zoom and this has been great as I do have that temptation of 35 millimeter being right there due to the nature of a zoom lens but I haven't found the need to use 35 millimeter over 28 millimeter the only reason why I have used it is purely out of curiosity to see the difference between 28 and 35 millimeter so in the comment section down below tell me your guys thoughts do you enjoy the 28 millimeter over the 35 and the 24 millimeter and does the 28 millimeter pair well with the 50 millimeter i'm going to go edit some photos that i took here in the delamites in north italy as well as venice and lake como so if you want to see those videos make sure you subscribe the bell is going off time's up let's go have an amazing day see ya